Hi guys and welcome to Natural Hair 53 Back to My Roots. Today I'm coming to you with another quick uh, review on some products that I've been using. And I got this idea from uh, lovely Anika. I love this girl. And her hair is always so glossy and pretty. So what I did as well, it was time for me to trim my edges. Well, trim my hair, in fact. As a matter of fact, I kind of cut it. Because, um, to be honest with you, when I was wearing my protective styles with my weave, I did over-process my hair and I did get some heat damage. But anyway, I'm coming to you today to show you uh, the products that I use to make my own uh, whip shea butter and this is how it turned out and it's very very creamy and I can use it even over my body you see I'm kind of shining right but I use it over my body now you know when you buy your African shea butter it comes in this container and it's very very hard so I took about this much out of the original container. I mixed it with about a tablespoon and a half of my coconut oil. Yes, I got it out of my grocery store. I used, of course, my olive oil. Now, she didn't use the vitamin E, but I decided to use the vitamin E because I heard that vitamin E uh, does wonders for your skin as well as, as your hair. So I decided to add some vitamin E into that. I also added my, and I need some more, my jojoba oil. oil, And I used the almond oil. Now I was looking for the um, sweet almond oil, but I didn't find it. So I have to keep searching for that. As well as my castor oil. Castor oil. I don't have any more of that, but I added that to that to the ingredients as well. I'm going to also leave her link down below. Um, Lovely Anika is where I got it from, got the idea from. And I must say, it, it gives my hair, once I wash and deep condition my hair, I twist my hair with my uh, whipped shea butter. And just a little bit of gel. Now, most people use the uh, Eco Style gel or whatever. But I use my aloe vera gel, and I, I've seen, I've used that in quite a few of my videos, and I also leave that link there. But it's 100% aloe vera gel, and uh, I got it out of my Walmart. But I use my shea butter, my mixture of shea butter, and my uh, aloe vera gel, um, gel, and I just twist, and either wear it in a high puff or. Um, just take it down. But I'm very, very pleased with these products. And, you know, I watch certain people to see how their hair grow from, you know, Big Chop to now. And her hair has been doing very, very well. And I love the way she says video. <laughs> I think that's how she says something like that. But anyway, to you, lovely Anika. And uh, that's about it. So I just wanted to come and share with you. And once you put all the ingredients in the container, your blender, whatever, you just whip it, mix it, however you want to do it, to get that soft texture to apply to your hair. Now, when it came down to the oils itself, like the olive oil, the almond oil, you have to decide on how much you want to use in your hair. Because I just squirt some out of the bottle. So it's up to each individual, you know, how dry your hair is, how brittle your hair is. And my hair had became extremely dry because I really hadn't been washing and deep conditioning. So it was time for me to start back. You know, when you get 55, you kind of slow down to doing certain things yourself. So I pretty much maintain my hair by myself and just keep getting ideas from the girls on YouTube. So that's pretty much it. If you have any comments or concerns or want to share some information, just leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you. Once again, thank you so much for watching. This is Natural Hair 53, back to my roots, saying be blessed, spread love, share love, and embrace love. Bye.